Well, good day YouTube, it's Michael. Um, this video is about my latest project, which in this case is a pure software project, just for a change. Um, what it is, it is a tool to use the AES, the Advanced Encryption Standard um, Block Cipher Algorithm, on a CUDA graphics card, on a CUDA device. Um, this is a uh, well, graphics card device a framework by NVIDIA, which means that um, the algorithm is very heavily paralyzed, so many threads are working concurrently, so as a result it is very fast. So I have this um, little demonstration here, uh, this is the call to my tool, and I say that I uh, want to use a key file. And then I use, um, well, this is a CD image just for test. This is a, <laughs> it's a Windows 2000 um, CD image, well, just for test, you know. And <coughs> uh, I will encrypt this now using the counter mode of operation. Well, let's run it. This is the repulsive output so that you see what's actually going on. Yeah, this is it. This was it. I mean, there's a little IO, the IO makes a little lag, but um, I measured the time and calculated a data rate from this time, from, from this runtime. <coughs> I used chunks of about 64 megabytes each. Um, this is transferred to the graphics card, then processed and transferred back to the PC. And as you can see, it's, a, it's almost 130 megabytes per second uh, throughput, uh, if you include the memory trans transfers. So a little glimpse on... I have this presentation here, which I have to do at school, at my university. Oh, no, 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 no. Just a little glimpse on how all this works. You have on this CUDA device a grid, which is, well, it's the complete execution unit, and then you have blocks, and these blocks are cons uh, consist of a several number of threads. Well, those are those little, well, wavy lines here, those are threads. And, uh, yeah, that, this is the close-up to a single block. A uh, block consists of a number of threads, and it can be multidimensional. I don't use that, I use just one-dimensional uh, thread blocks. Um, but that's about the way it works, so um, let's check it out. No, that's the wrong direction. Yeah. You see the host, this is the PC side. The program runs on the PC, of course, and a portion of it, this is called, oh, the CUDA kernel. This runs on the graphics card, the device. So it could also be a Tesla card or something. And, uh, well, the host PC copies the data to the device, then the device comes and executes the thread grid, and then the data is copied back. That's that's about the way it works um, for most uh, of these CUDA programs. And that's the way mine works, too. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's about a nifty little tool by now. Um, it supports a number of command line options. It also uh, supports reading a password from uh, from the terminal. You enter a password twice, and you can use the password um, to create a key for the AES algorithm. Um, you can use a key file or a key stored, uh, a really tr uh, a truly randomly generated key stored, and you can enter the key just immediate on the console, which is just for. Uh, testing purposes mainly. You would either use a key file or enter a password. A password is less secure, but um, key lengths up to 265 bits are available. Uh, you have to notice that um, there is a, a related key attack for the AES available which compromises key lengths of 256 bits. And after you compiled it, and let's run that too, you can... I have this test um, target so you can test the whole thing, um, several calls to the tool with uh, a data file and comparing the, um, well, output, so ensuring that everything works fine. Well, yeah, it's, the project is uh, available on my homepage and uh, 
it'd be nice if uh, anybody of you could test uh, the tool with your graphics card. Now, I have um, the GeForce 9600 GTS, which is, well, not the fastest one. It's um, It has eight multiprocessors. Uh, you can use Marazel to list your devices. Um, it has eight multiprocessors, uh, which makes up for a total of 64 streaming processors. This is the value here. And there are cards uh, around with up to 30 uh, multiprocessors. So, um, given, given the nature of this programming, this parallel programming, it should scale very well up to, well, a few hundred megabytes per second. And I'd like to test that. Um, I don't have the hardware. Um, so if anyone wants to test it, um, you'll need the CUDA 2.2 framework. It probably won't work with a framework later than that, which at the time I started this, um, the driver was still beta, so uh, I wanted to use the 2.2 version. Well, that's about it. Um, yeah, that's what I do when I do software, for example, you know. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, have a lot of fun.